My heart is for this city. My heart is for the people. And this is a responsibility that I take very serious and I'm going to give you my all. Tonight at 6, City Council President Marty Small is now the new acting mayor of Atlantic City after fellow Democrat Frank Gilliam stepped down after he pleaded guilty to wire fraud. Now acting mayor Marty Small is ready to push past the scandal and start to move forward. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Cartaglia. And I'm Natasha Brown in for Yuki Washington. Hi, what is news reporter Howard Monroe is in Atlantic City with Small's vision for the city. Hi, Howard. Hello. Well, first and foremost, he says that he wants to fix the city's finances. The state took over the city's finances back in 2016. He said that the city will not repeat mistakes of the past. Just like what happened yesterday, the sun shined today, and uh, we're ready to move forward. Acting Atlantic City Mayor Marty Small forging ahead despite the sudden resignation of former Mayor Frank Gilliam. On Thursday, Gilliam admitted to stealing money from a charity he founded. Please be patient with the city of Atlantic City. Guys, not through with his yet. Gilliam wasn't mentioned at Friday's news conference. Neither was the last mayor who resigned, Robert Levy. He left office back in 2007 and was also under a federal investigation. Council member William Marsh took over for Levy back then. He has to let him know that he had as their best interests at heart. Marsh served as acting mayor for only 40 days. For Small to be allowed to finish out Gilliam's term, he must win the approval of the Atlantic City Democratic Committee and then be approved by the city council. Marsh says he intends to vote for him. I am so uh, appreciative of what he's, he's taking the time to do what he needed to do to get in this position, so he's more than ready to take the challenge. Small was first elected to the council back in 2004 and most recently served as city council president. He'll retain his position as council president while also serving as acting mayor. Marty, you know, he's been here through the ups and downs of Atlantic City, you know, and I, I think he's going to do it. I definitely do. And the Democratic committee is collecting names now to present to the council. The first time voters will have a chance to pick their next mayor will be in the 2020 elections. Live in Atlantic City, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.